Good day, tubes. How's she going? So, uh, I don't know if you all noticed or not, but, uh, oh crap, just got to drop on the camera. Um, the, uh, uploads for Bill's T-Max has, uh, decreased a bit. Uh, I got a bit of an issue going on, and, uh, I don't know whether I should say anything about it or not, but, uh, Basically, I had a, uh, a call, we'll say, and uh, was told to remove some videos. Um, anything that contains anything in the cemetery with names on any of the monuments. Now, it's not a super huge, gonna have to shut the channel down thing or nothing here, but uh, it's not so good anyways, but... Uh, you know, but uh, it's not very often I really, really take you out into the cemetery and show you, you know, oh, there's Uncle Joe or Uncle Sam or whatever, you know, and whatever. But, uh, you know, we've done a few videos where we're out digging in the cemetery or something and... Close the door here again. We're out digging or something and, uh, you know, you might see a name on a monument or something or whatever. So there's a big... Uh, thing we're looking into right now it's a big privacy thing I guess what you'd call it basically so but uh, you know I never really thought there was any big deal about it because you know how many movies are shot in a cemetery you know whatever and uh, or they're doing a funeral or whatever for someone that's died in this movie or whatever and there's monuments all around you see names everywhere on all of them and you know I'm sure they went and asked every single person that you know if it was okay to film in that cemetery you know and not likely <laughs> there's not likely been anybody been called when they do that you know so but whatever I don't know it's one of them things but I think we're down to uh, 966 videos now so we kind of lost the view of our thousand but uh, that's the way she goes so uh, so I guess from now on I won't be able to show you stuff out there digging or whatever you know it'll just be uh, stuff working in here or maybe just even working out in the front or out in the side and without you know showing any of the stones or anything but whatever it's one of them things I guess you just gotta watch your you know what's and this and that so but um, uh, but anyways we're looking we're looking into it and uh, seeing if you know if anything, anybody complained about anything, then it would come back to whoever, you know, and we're just trying to figure out if that's even, you know, if available to someone if something like that happened. I guess you'd say, I don't really know how to word it, but we're seeing, I guess, if we would be at fault kind of thing, or me would be at fault or whatever, you know, but uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, you know, because there's people in cemeteries all the time with cameras taking pictures of money. I see people all the time in here taking pictures and stuff you know and now mind you they're not probably posting it all on YouTube but uh, you know it's uh, one of them one of them deals so I don't know it's nothing more to say about it I guess but we'll find out so I've uh, removed those videos for now and uh, if need be if it's okay then we'll maybe put them back up I don't know we'll see or maybe I'll just leave them off who knows probably just leave them off but anyways enough of that rant kind of kind of tick today so if you think I'm in a bad mood I'm probably in a bad mood so but uh, anyways uh, maybe we'll get working on something here to get my mind off crap and uh, we'll get uh, something going here but anyways there's uh, Ripper project number two all done and uh, yeah I know some of you were commenting there when I was painting it there was one of these little nibs still sticking out uh, I probably already Got rid of it or something. I don't see it laying around here. Probably threw it in my bin thing already. But yeah, I did forget it. And uh, between shots, I'm like, oh crap! Psh! Then I just sliced her off. I think it was this one. I can't really remember now. It's one of the two. But so she should be good for curling now. It's not going to hit the, you know. But uh, she's all ready. Um, I still got the machine uh, or the backhoe off the the big tractor back here. I still got her in snowblower mode. So, but uh, anyways. Uh, I guess we'll get this down off the table here, put her off to the side somewhere for now, and uh, I want to uh, get looking at uh, 
The next big project we're thinking of doing, and yes it is a snow plow. Some of you are thinking a grapple bucket or something for the front of the tractor. Well, I thought of one of those too, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be uh, wanting to use it too much or not, but because I don't really do a lot of that kind of grabbing stuff and ripping stuff, you know, it's more like digging and filling graves in, but I can't show you that anymore apparently. Holy frig, a whole whack of snow just fell off the roof there. That really scared me. I don't know if the camera picked up that woof or not, but it's quite a thing actually out in the other garage when you uh, when you're out there and it woof it all takes off off the roof. Holy frig, it wakes you up. But uh, anyways, let's get this thing off the bench here, and I want to bring in another curved hunk of stuff there and uh, gotta have a look at uh, see how this is gonna work. If this is gonna work. Alrighty, we got a sheet in here. I still got. Eight or so left of these? Nine of these left? Ten of these left, maybe. I don't know. Fair few. But um, anyway, so what my game idea planning was, was to use these pieces as like the the pieces on the back of the plow that kind of stiffen it. Um, I don't know exactly what you'd call that. But uh, I'm trying to think now how big to make them. So basically... The inside here so this stuff will all be gone and I'll draw a line or whatever I'm thinking would be good and the inside this is where you mount your your plow stuff to right like the blades or the scoopy part or whatever you call it so the more I'm thinking the more I bring this in to make it beefier the less I'm gonna have of a curl on my thing you know it's still fairly big but the less I got the more I'm trying to think now, like, here, let me draw a picture. So if we got, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, where's my other one? Uh, don't have my other one. What the frig? Anyways, uh, let's see if I can get you a rough idea here. Um, so if we go something like that versus, so let's say that's a small, small one. Uh, so if I cut it in like three inch or four inch, it's going to be smaller. So if I cut, you know, like a two inch or a two and a half, maybe it'll make the arc a little bit bigger. Well, maybe not that big, but you just get kind of the rough idea, right? So, you know, it'd be basically like this edge compared to this edge. So this one we're getting, let's see here if I can measure this like this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Hang on. Hang on, I'm left-handed, don't forget. <laughs> Need a little bit more tape. So if we go from this corner to this corner, we're about 34 inches. So just imagine your plow stuff laying all in here. So you're only going to have an arc of about this much versus if you cut it in further like say well one sec here let me get set up so we've come in three inches there so this would be, get cut like this like this shape in there so we go from that 34 to let's we'll say 45 inch blade size you know so 45 inch from the ground to Say the tables of the ground. That's a pretty freaking big plow, you know. That'd be awesome because you know you get a good whoosh off, you know. So there's 45 up way up there, almost by the light. So versus 34, even 34 wouldn't be bad, you know. But I'm thinking bigger the better because sometimes out here you get a a big whoosh of snow, you know. But the only thing that this will also do is. It'll give you, uh, you'll need more plates to cover it, which I know I've got three of those plates still left out there. So what I was thinking of doing was cutting, depending on how it would look, I don't know how wide they would be, but cut like three inch strips or something, whatever, you know, cause it's gonna be round here, but then square there. So you're gonna have to weld in sort of between them, right? And basically fill that in until you get your whatever width of plow. Now that's the next question. How wide do we want to go with this? Well, let's go out and have a look at the machine. Okay, so I wanted to get my snowblower off so I could measure this thing up, but it's all frozen and stuff, and and uh, the uh, drive shaft that 
books on the front from the blowers all frozen and you know whatever it up so uh, I got a bit of a redneck solution here you guys will probably like this okay so we're running the exhaust pipe out through this rubber tube and then down in here and we're melting the crap out of the stuff you know so it's working pretty good it's starting to melt so we'll just let her sit there warm up and run for a bit and uh, be able to get her off well let's see how she worked oh sweet just like summertime fingers in here there we go that's all we needed holy i guess i didn't have to shut her off but anyways i'll turn her back on here and i gotta there we go back her up we're good to go i think oh we're still attached here there we go there we go talk about red net eh? that worked actually pretty good muscle her all outside they're real nice Uh, I'm just going to back her back inside here. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. And uh, we'll give a measurement. Okay, so let's have a little looky see here. I, I got this uh, piece of uh, one by 2 sprucey stuff here. And I uh, drew the center, which is four feet. This is an eight-foot piece. Now, um, I don't know whether I want her eight feet. That's a pretty big swoop. But, you know, bigger the better for these roads, I'm thinking. So most of them are like 10 feet wide so this would get darn near all the road right but uh, she's pretty big for this tractor I don't know it probably handle you know normal crap but anything uh, more then you'd have to put the blower on anyways I guess but um, I'm kind of liking the way it looks here when we angle it The blade will actually be sitting out about here, you know, and then I got to make this belt bracket like they've got on this thing, something sort of like something like that, and uh, to mount it from the blade to this. And uh, so it'll actually be sitting out probably another, whatever that sits out, it's probably, well, here's my tape. We've probably got another 80 or so inches here. Now, mind you, I won't have all this crap here, it'll be just, you know, that'll be the edge of the blade. So, yeah, we're seven and a half we'll say so from where it mounts on the pins seven and a seven and a half yeah so we're out to about here so there's gonna be lots of clearance with tires and stuff so that's good lots of clearance so uh i'm kind of thinking that maybe i'll leave her at this eight feet that's a big plow heavy plow but you know she'll be heavy for pushing down and scraping nice and, and all that lovely stuff but um, now, what else was I thinking? The up and down as well should be fine, depending on where it gets mounted on the, on the mount. You know, boom, she'll be down. And uh, that was actually full up there, so we could mount her down lower or something. I don't know. Add her up a bit, somewhere there. And then we still got. Maybe being so wide once you get her turned and then down, I don't know if it's the whole thing's going to sit flat or not, but I guess if I plunk her down in, you know, the float position, it should be fine. As long as it's mounted bang on, square, it should be fine, you would think, but uh, that's another thing to consider with that width is it's going to sit even on both sides when it's, so when it's going back and forth, right? So. But uh, I guess if it's not, then I can always chop some off, you know, like it's always easier to take some off than it is to put some more back on, so. But, uh, you know, I could always take a six or eight inches off the end, but an eight foot plow, that's pretty big for this tractor, but you know, hey, I like to go crazy, so we're gonna, we're gonna try her anyways. Alrighty, so I got a line scribed all the way along here, three inches in, <clears throat> all the way along, and, uh, I also got my board marked up here for where these things should sit. Um, I was thinking of doing one every foot, but I don't have enough of these left. I need nine. I've only got seven left. Um, so 
it's going to be one in the very end, and then skip one, so two feet in will be another one. Hopefully that's not too far. If it is, I'm going to have to figure something out, strengthen her up. And uh, where it mounts, in the center here, I kind of wanted another one, another one, another one, uh, another one. Skip two feet to the end again. So let's run over that again. So we've got one here, skip, skip one. Okay, so one there, let's skip one. One there, skip one, one there. And then all these in the center are gonna be mounted so it's stronger in, the, in where it mounts and stuff. So hopefully it's gonna be strong enough on its own out here, but um, like I say, if not, we'll have to uh, finger something out. I don't know what though, but I um, wish I had a couple more of these still left, but I don't, so we'll make do with what we can. So I'm thinking every foot would have been nice, but uh, I don't know, we'll see see what happens here. So I'm kind of thinking too that uh, once we kind of get her into the basic shape of the plowish, we're going to need uh, something between these things like, uh, oh I don't know, I could even cut thingies or square thingies out of these or whatever, you know, and then mount them between kind of thing, you know, and then mount them, uh, I guess the plow would be here, so we'd mount them this way, I guess, so that keeps it rigid for this way too, you know, because I'm thinking as soon as you hit something hard, it's just going to those back, so you need something between these things as well, you know, so I'm going to have to look at some plow designs and stuff, and uh, I don't know, because the way they, I've seen them make theirs, they bend them in the bending machine, right, they put that steel through, well, this is pretty thick stuff I got here, Iron Man got me there, and I don't really have a bending machine, so, uh, well, there's a good sample over there so you know it is fairly beefy stuff like that's three sixteenths or something I can't remember the bang on size of what it was but I mean it's fairly beefy stuff I don't think it's gonna bend but if you happen to smash into a something hard it's probably gonna bend and I know a lot of them have those trip things where it you know will flop over kind of thing if it hits something well yeah kinda thinking of not doing that too because I'm really just doing roads, like I don't got curbs and stuff here that things will get caught on too bad, you know, like it's pretty good roads through here, so I'm not super concerned about having like that trip thing on it, but uh, I don't know, we may incorporate something into it, but yeah, so anyways, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, these are pretty much, I think these are eight foot sheets, uh, didn't bring my tape with me, but anyways, uh, basically cutting whatever will adapt to that curve real well like a three inch strip all the way across or maybe a I don't know what it's going to take but the more strips the more welding but I think the way I'm thinking of doing this is going to be a fair bit of welding anyway so but uh, it's probably not going to be solid welds either it'll be just you know done done you know so but uh, let me just grab my tape real quick yeah so these are actually over eight feet this sheet is anyways and I think the one behind it's even longer than that there's 96 is 8 feet, so we got, oh, 8 foot, uh, we'll say 103 and a half, bang on, so, then there's another sheet behind here, that I think it's even longer, again, it might be a 10 foot, start up in there, 9, almost 10 feet, we'll say 118 and a quarter, so, we got lots there to cut strips off, so that should be awesome. And uh, we'd have to move all this crap, of course, out of the way, but we got uh, a pile of cutting to do first, I guess, on the, uh, you know, the other deweys there, so, but uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get into that today or not. Uh, we'll maybe cut the one here just to see how we're looking, but getting this stuff cut, I don't know if we'll get into that today or not, but. Uh, okay, so we got a... <laughs> piece of uh, stuff here we're going to cut this first and then I'll be able to get my, my length of uh, how long I can make those pieces right so we're going to get her fired up
Snaily fees. Okay, so there's the first of many Deweys. That's gonna be a big freaking plow. I think that's gonna be bigger than like the plow you put in your pickup truck when it's all said and done. Now mind you, it's gonna have to uh, probably get chopped wherever level is gonna sit there and then you put your big scraper bar thing on the bottom, right? So it's not gonna be quite that length, but, and then up here again, I'll probably shape it to whatever and uh, weld on like a, two inch piece of stuff there or something wrong the top right to stiffen her that way too so uh, she's gonna be pretty big though it's gonna be a big plow but that's sort of what I'm after is you know go big or go home so anyways now I want to sort of figure out where the heck can I put my tape there it is how long I can go or how wide I can go with these pieces so we'll say that's flat well, seven inches isn't bad. I can always weld in between. Um, let me get her rearranged here so we can get a bit better measurement and stuff. I'll maybe lay her down. So I've been going around with my little square here. And what is that? I can't even read it now. It must be eight inch or something from the corner to the end. But that doesn't actually seem too bad. That saved me a lot of friggin' around. So eight inch, eight inch. So let's maybe mark this out here now. Every eight inch and we'll see how many of these sheets we're going to need. So I'm going to need two hands. Uh, my little pencil's down here. And uh, let's go marking. All right, so we're actually looking pretty good here. I got uh, that eight inches and I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I drew sort of a line here where it would likely get cut off. And then the uh, whatever I'm going to use for my scraper bar plate, plate thing would go on here, right? So I'm probably also along the bottom going to need something welded kind of, let me think now, that way onto these things and then onto the back plates would be alright too and then uh, probably cut some holes through these things then I can bolt that plate thing onto. Now I don't know what I'm going to use for, um, for my scraper bar yet but I really want to use one of the uh, pieces from like the loader bucket there where it's that thicker crap with you know this may be a bit too heavy but she'll last a long time whole leaf ring but uh, I think it only comes in oh, I might be able to get it bigger I don't know I'm sure they have it in bigger length so but I'd have to ask them fellers they can get one for me so but uh, anyways that's the general idea of her so basically I just need to cut a whole whack more of these and uh, and uh, start cutting the strips off the other thing and uh, start motioning this together so and then we got to figure out how we're gonna do our mountain thing to the to the Dewey too that's gonna be interesting not too 100% positive on that yet I'm gonna need some thinking on that first but uh, anyways um, I guess maybe we'll get another big plate out trace this one on it it'll be a little bit easier than trying to measure the whole thing again 
and uh, start cutting. Well, we got three of these things cut out on there, the original, the first one, and then we got these two here. And uh, my table's heating up actually quite a lot, so I think I'm going to let her chill out for a while. You can see it's even kind of warping it a bit. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, right where I'm hitting her with all that coming down there, it's actually heated her up a lot that it's starting to warp my table a bit. So better maybe stop for a little while. <laughs> maybe we'll continue on with this tomorrow. So we got three ready anyways, and we'll just have to get them all together and then, you know, get them all equalized the same because, you know, there's the odd spot where she's a little bit off from the other one or something because you want her pretty much bang right on, I think, I'm thinking for the best... Uh, so the, the stuff lays out the best, you know, so, but anyways, um, what else was I going to show you? Okay, so I want to show you the nastiness of this, and uh, I was, uh, of course, wearing this while I was uh, plasma cutting there and had the big fan on and stuff, so uh, this is probably going to really shock you. So this is the inside of the pre-filter thing. Let's get her out here. Okay, ready, set. Check that out, eh? <laughs> Oh, is that ever working good, you know, but I can still smell it a bit, but I guess it's filtering out all the cruddy stuff, you know, so holy, I'm going to have to get another set of filters for this thing soon. This side's not much better, you know, so holy, that's pretty nasty, eh? But the inside ones so far seem pretty good. This is catching, I guess, 90, 98.99% of it on the outside. So, man, oh man, I'm kind of glad I should have got one of them sooner, I guess. It's been working good though, so uh, figure that back out. Just got to keep the thing inside there kind of cleaner, right? So there we go. And uh, yeah, holy, it's been working good though. Look at look at you can tell. Holy. Well, I guess that's going to be it for today, tubes. I'll let that table cool off a bit and stuff because it's getting pretty hot. But anyways, let's pop the Kinder open. See what we get today. Pop. Well, a couple of squarey things, a couple of squarey, roundy, toppy things, and something to do with this other sheet of stuff here. Looks like one of those 3D changing, changery thingy, so we'll put that down first. This looks pretty easy to put together to snap these deweys in that and I presume like that and then I guess you look through the dewey there and it you know hides the red or whatever and then you see another picture behind so let's uh, see what we got here so there's the, the picture dewey and then if you put this thing in front and you see all the sea creatures which you don't normally see eh wow that's pretty cool what about the other side here there's some flowers and stuff. Oops. And we've got snakes and bugs and camera that does not like to focus, but you get the idea there, turtle and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if there's other ones of these to collect or not. Looks like just the one. Hmm. Cool. Well, anyways, I guess that's gonna be her for today. We'll put this thing up on the shelf as well. So anyways, uh, one of these days we'll get to doing the sea foam on the truck, but I uh, haven't done it yet of course, so but anyways, that's her for today, so we'll talk at you later tubes, have a good one.